Welcome to Cochin International Airport Limited. We are uh, the world's first airport fully powered by solar energy. And we are very happy to associate with you. Uh, myself, uh, P.S. Jayan. Actually, we have uh, started with this very idea of uh, installing a rooftop plant in uh, 2013. So, uh, it was a huge success because, uh, as you know, the aviation industry is a, one of the biggest contributors of carbon footprint in the world. So then, phase by phase, we have increased the capacity and in 2015, we installed uh, a 13 megawatt plant near the cargo complex. Now, we have a total installed capacity of uh, 50 megawatts. Myself, uh, Mohammed Safir. So when we ventured into this uh, pilot project, we could understand the performance, like uh, what is the, the capacity of the plant, so how much yield you are getting out of it. So the airport is some kind of installation which keeps on adding on its infrastructures, so like the energy demand. 38 megawatt solar plant is feeding the airport. It is sufficient as of now. Say, next year again the demand increases. Yes, we have a reserve plant at Northern Kerala at 12 megawatt. We will take power from that also. So that's how we are equipped to meet the present demand as well as our future demands. As everyone knows, it is a free power. Once you install the plant, that's it. Second thing, by which we could prevent the carbon dioxide emission. If we are not producing that uh, energy from our solar plant, this particular energy should have been drawn from any of the conventional sources, which is typically running on coal, thermal power. That will lead to the respective portion of carbon dioxide emission. By deploying our own solar plant for our own needs, we are not using that conventional energy and thus we are avoiding the carbon dioxide emission from our part, which is possible from our end. So we are producing somewhere around 200,000 units of uh, electricity a day, whereas our daily consumption stands at uh, 173,000. So we are power posting now. In fact, uh, our for the last financial year, our generation was surplus. So what happens is that the excess energy we are giving to the state utility and at the end of the year, they are paying, paying, paying us back. for that energy which we have given them. The main challenge with that is the land. Our techniques to deal with this issue was that first we were identified those lands which were earmarked for the future development of the airport. Second thing was that multiple use of the land. Like you can see here, this is the car parking uh, space of the airport, which was not covered by solar panel back then 10 years back. So what we did, we provide a solar roof for all the customers or the passengers who were coming here. Third way of attending this issue is that to use unproductive land. You say there is a, some kind of a buffer land in and around the airport. It's a security purpose. You cannot construct anything above like two or three meter high. You cannot construct anything over there. So those area is, is cannot be used for any other purpose. We put solar panels over there. In 2018, we were awarded with uh, Champions of Earth Award. The citation clearly mentioned that Cochin uh, International Airport Limited uh, proved that uh, green business is good business. So it is actually a good business. You are uh, sending a message to the generation that uh, you have to work uh, hard for uh, achieving the, the more greener planet. So we are actually showing the world large uh, power consumer like airport can also run on uh, solar or uh, green energy. So that is an important message we have to give to the world. Thank you.